Hello, this is Miss Augustine, uh, continuing with Chapter 11, Notes, uh, which is the gas laws. So today I'm going to talk about Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. Um, Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures states that for a mixture of gases in a container, the total pressure is the sum of all of the partial pressures of each of the gases involved. Um, and if you think about our air, for instance, if you could, um, in our room full of air, if you could pull out oxygen and pull out hydrogen and pull out nitrogen, the pressure would decrease as we pulled out each of those gases. So again, um, it makes sense. It should be intuitively obvious. Why do we need this law? It's particularly useful when we calculate pressure for gases that we collect over water because whenever we are collecting a gas over water there is water vapor water in the gas phase present as well so what does that look like uh, in lab uh, we would do an experiment where we would generate a gas and then we would bubble it into a tub of water and collect it into some sort of a gas collection jar or tube. And so when we do that, this gas that we've collected from our reaction also, because it bubbled through water, is going to have some pressure of uh, water there as well. So we use Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures typically to uh, figure out what the volume of and the pressure of the dry gas would be um, when you eliminate the pressure of water. And what you do for the water is you can look it up in a table um, knowing what the temperature in a room is. Um, you can subtract out what the partial pressure of water vapor is at that temperature. So that is all right now for uh, Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures. This is Ms. Augustine signing off.